Paula Jo from Cedar Quilts with a quick tip Tuesday for you. Oh my goodness, how many times do you have to iron a little something on your quilt while it's already on the frame? A clipboard and some quilt bedding cut off extras wrapped around and held on there <gasps> makes a perfect portable ironing board. After you're done with your quilt and you've trimmed off things, you oftentimes have a little bit of back fabric and batting. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love this quick little tip. I use just a basic clipboard and I catch the batting on here. I wrap it around a few times, rotating it around so that I have a nice smooth layer on the back and then you just clip it on your board and it is now a wonderful portable ironing board. You just slip it on there, hold it with one hand and then you can press and squeeze a little bit it really is so much easier than trying to set up your ironing board underneath there. Although I have done that too. Anyway, a clipboard, some batting, portable ironing board. Yeah, it's a good tip from Paula Jo. I oftentimes <laughs> use a clipboard to put fabric on and to put it away in my cubbies and to take fabric out. It is just so much easier to slide that in, pull out the one I want, and not, and not mess things up quite as much as I would if I was just yanking another. And again, to put it back in, it slides in so easily. Excuse the mess, but you know, some days you're just busy and not as organized as other days. <laughs> One more thing that I love to do with my clipboard is I will store it right under my fabric. And when I'm listening to my favorite music or I'm videoing with somebody, if I'm FaceTiming with friends, I will set it up right here on my clipboard. And it's so handy. I can even plug in and be recharging the batteries while it's here. It's really handy. So yeah. What do you want to use your clipboard for? <laughs> Come back and see me again. Toodaloo!